Hey folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming from Beckley's Camping Center here in Thurmont, Maryland. We're right on Route 15, just 15 minutes north of Frederick, 30 minutes south of Gettysburg. Today we're going to look at the 2018, this is the 31BE Vista by Winnebago. As you can see, you have the ladder for the back, backup camera up here as well. Notice how we have the slide topper over top of the slide out. Nice thing by having the slide out topper is the fact that you don't have to worry about debris on top of your slide out. Notice how Winnebago also has their generator exhaust coming out the back. That way there if you're camping, you have um, people next to you, you're not blowing that right in, in their uh, space there. Notice also how the heat duct is, this is for the furnace, is coming out the back instead of the front makes a huge difference you can see you have storage doors down the side plenty of storage your LP here you can see that your awning it's electric awning has the LED light strip outside stereo speakers you also have a TV off here so you're gonna have uh, a few TVs in this particular one one thing with Winnebago is look at this awning I mean, I'm sorry, the, the screen door. You see how sturdy that is? If you're out and you're checking out a Winnebago, take that and shake, the, shake it. Push on it. You will see that that moves the coach. It's not flimsy like so many others that are on the market. Now, the other thing I like about how Winnebago does things is notice how their battery disconnect awning step switches are right here. Same thing with your breakers and fuses, which makes it very easy for you to read them and get to them. Has a nice little night light right there for the step. So let's go on inside and take a look and see what this beauty looks like. As you can see, as you come in, the kitchen's going to be on the slide out here. This is one large slide out going out here. I'll show you as we move back, but up in the front, you can see you have the TV over top of the dinette booth, windows on either side. You can see up in the front there, you're gonna have the bed that comes down. I'll demonstrate that to you later. And you can see how your chair, both of these, the driver chair will turn around as well. But you know, if you wanna watch TV, somebody can sit in that passenger seat and still be able to be looking at the uh, TV. Notice how you have a nice little shelf with the cup holders back behind the sofa. This is a jackknife sofa or like a futon. And of course you have the dinette booth that makes a bed as well and then you see the, the cup holders. You're going to have your standard things in your um, in the coach here, you know, the six-speed uh, transmission, leveling jacks and so forth. But some things that are different is the fact that this has this MCD shade up in the front and the beautiful thing with that is that you can use it as a nightshade or you could just use it you know, when you're driving, now, once you have the motor on, it'll only go down so far. But see, that blocks out the sun, big time. And then on either side, you have the screens that can pull down. You can see the little uh, little table, desk area, whatever, whatever you want to call this, for the passenger while the passenger's driving on the road. And inside of that, you can store maps, books, what, whatever you'd like. It has 12-volt hookup. You can see here how you have the, this would be where your um, stereo, backup monitor, and so forth is. So very driver friendly. Makes it very easy for you to get in and out of the seats. Nice thing that they do with Winnebago is notice how you have the 110 outlet right next to the passenger seat there. And let me just show you what the options are and you'll be able to see the length. I told you it was a 31 BE, but the actual length is 32 foot 3 inches. Of course, 80-gallon 80, 80 fuel tank. You can see we don't have very many options on this, which keeps the cost down. A difference between Winnebago and the other brands that are on the market is that 70 to 80% of what is on this motorhome is actually made by Winnebago, which really makes a huge difference. So just kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. You can see the storage on either side of that TV up above the windows there. You can see we're, we're going to be talking about bunk beds in this particular model. Ducted air conditioner. 
as you can see. So let me come back here. I'm going to demonstrate this bed. Now, one thing that I love about Winnebago is the fact how they, they put everything you need right in one place. So your slide-out mechanism, your generator, your water heater, your checking your levels, water pump, air conditioner, the furnace, everything is in one location. It makes it so much easier for you. You don't have to hunt around and think where the heck your things are. So all you do is make sure that the seatbelt thing is unlocked off of that bed. And all you do is push a button and the bed comes down. You see how it has that netting back behind it. And what that does, that you know keeps your, uh, whoever's up there from rolling off. Notice how there's, it's still clearance above, above the chairs. So you're not hitting the chairs at all. You can literally sleep um, two people. It's a 500 pound capacity for that. And look at all the additional storage you have up here for if you were sleeping up here. Or you needed, you know, just gives you places to put things. And they have their own lights that they can take care of. As we come back, this is the little cubbies I was telling you about on either side of the TV. This particular one has an outlet for you. So if you needed to store some things and uh, go ahead and power some things up. But one thing they do do is right here at, the, at your dinette booth, you'll see that they do have a 110 outlet along with 12 volt. So whoever's sitting at this table, that they're able to go ahead and um, charge their iPads, their computer, whatever they would need. Also notice on the counter space, notice how you have the extra outlets there and plenty of counter space for you to, you know, use it. Your coffee maker, your toaster oven, whatever you have, your mixer, your blender, things of that nature. And of course you can see plenty of storage for you. Notice how there's no carpet on the floor whatsoever. It's all plastic right now, even under the dinette. So this is going to give you an 8 cubic foot refrigerator by Norcold. And you can see plenty of freezer space. Even have a little shelf in the door and your refrigerator. Plenty of shelving. Little storage drawers below. And then of course your door shelves right there. Plenty in the doorway. And they are removable and adjustable. Of course you have the pantry right next to it. And now your bathroom, it has a door to the bedroom as well as a door to the front here. The reason for this is when the slide is when the slide out is in, it's up against this wall. It's one full wall slide, as you can see. It goes the full length. As you can see, it goes from the front to the back. All the way. So it's one full wall slide. So you have to have access to get to the bedroom. When you're going down the road, this gives it to you. You can see you have your toilet with the riser. Notice the, you have a, a furnace duct in there as well as an AC duct. You have places you can know you hang your robes, towels, toilet paper holder. You have places, you know, cabinet space. You have cabinet space above the toilet there, and you have counter space, counter space there, and of course cabinet below. We're going to come come in through here through the um, the bedroom. And show you this as well just so I'm going to go around so on your bunk bed models as you can see there is storage below the, the bottom bunk okay and, it, and the nice thing is that it has the struts to hold it up you can see that each of the bunks have lighting if you wanted to this top bunk folds up as well and you could use that as a hanger this could be a, a closet if you wanted to but notice how you have this is a their own little TV you put your own uh, you know, uh, DVD in it or hook things up so they can watch whatever they have it for each of the uh, bunks. As you come back into the bedroom, you can see you have a pocket door to give you privacy. You have a, a TV back here and you can see the bed area. You see you have a window and plenty of storage as you can see back here for Everything you need, your clothes, things for the bathroom, nice little queen bed here, nice little, notice how you also have little cubbies on either end of the bed, and see how it has the outlet in, in the cubby. 
Then you have the little cubby on the other side for yourself. So it gives you plenty of room. See, so a pocket door is for the bathroom for you. See plenty of uh, storage space in the slide out. See all your drawers down below here. And then it has a window for you to get if you needed some airflow back here. Notice you have a power vent fan back here. For, so those of you that, you know, you're camping in nicer weather, you can turn that on, open the window, and get some airflow coming through. So this kind of gives you an idea of the length of that slide out all the way in the back here. So let's take a look at that bathroom once again here from the other location. So you have a little cubby down below here. So you see as you're coming in the bathroom, you have the, the shower, skylight, nice little seat or, you know, footrest. But this kind of gives you a better idea. Like I say, it, it, it definitely gives you a better idea of how this is laid out versus um, looking at pictures. But obviously, to get the best feel for this would be better to come in person. But I appreciate you watching. I hope I answered any questions that may have come up for you in the past. And uh, if you stop by, if you, if you call, if you email, be sure to ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll come back at you again shortly. Thank you.